So what we're gonna to try to do in this video is add 7 tenths to 13 hundredths. Pause this video and see if you can figure what that is. All right, so this might be a little bit intimidating at first because we're adding tenths here, seven tenths, and we're adding hundredths here, 13 hundredths. How do I add a certain number of tenths to a certain number of hundredths? And the key idea is to re-express seven tenths as a certain number of hundredths. So how do we do that? Well, let's just first visualize each of these fractions. So seven tenths, if we imagine this square is a whole, and that we've divided into 10 equal sections. I tried to hand draw it as best as I can. Notice I have filled in seven of those 10 equal sections that we have split the whole into. So this represents seven tenths. And 13 hundredths, you could split the whole into 100 equal sections. And I tried to draw hand draw it, so assume that these are 100 equal sections. And so notice this is a 10 by 10 square. And so you're gonna have 100 of these squares. And notice we have 10 plus three, 13 filled in. So we wanna add these 7 tenths to these 13 hundredths. Now how do we express 7 tenths in terms of hundredths? Well, visually, you could take each of your tenths and split them into 10 equal sections. Now you have your whole split into hundredths. And each of your tenths is now a hundredth, so you have 10 times as many things in the denominator, and you also have 10 times as many things in the numerator. Before you had seven of the tenths filled in, now you have 70 of the hundredths filled in. Or another way to think about it, we multiplied the numerator by 10, and we multiplied the denominator by 10. And if you do the same thing to the numerator and the denominator, you multiply it or divide it by the same number, you're not changing the value. Think about it, 10 over 10 is the same thing as one. So we're just taking one and multiplying it by seven tenths isn't going to change the value. But this is, as we've already talked about, this is equivalent to 70 over 100. So this is equal to 70 hundredths, which is this right over here, plus 13 hundredths, plus 13 hundredths. Well now we're adding hundredths in both cases. If I have 70 of something and I add to that 13 of the same somethings, in this case the something is hundredths, I'm gonna have 83 of that thing. So this is going to be 70, let me do the same color, this is going to be equal to 70 plus 13 plus 13 hundredths. 70 plus 13 hundredths, and what's 70 plus 13? Well that of course is going to be 83 hundredths. And we are done.